Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope. My name is Pastor Justin Domino, and today I want to bring us to a very famous phrase of Jesus, very famous verse, where he tells us something that's actually extremely illogical, and it seems totally backwards, but here's what he says in Luke chapter 6, verse 28. He says, bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. I know that's very simple, yet it seems very backwards and illogical because in our world today, what's our first response when somebody does something bad to us? We wanna retaliate, we wanna get bitter, we wanna get angry. But here, Jesus flips upside down our entire reality of what it means to treat our enemies differently. And the office says we wanna get mad at people, we wanna treat them like they are our enemies. What Jesus says, no, we're actually supposed to be different. I love the way that William Barclay, he's a pastor, um, he puts it this way. We cannot love our enemies as we love our nearest and dearest, and to do so would be unnatural, impossible, and even wrong. But we can see to it that no matter what a man does to us, even if he insults us, treats us poorly, or injures us, we will seek nothing but his highest good. I love that because it it puts everything on the back burner. It doesn't matter what people do to us. Yes, there are times when we need to defend ourselves, of course, But it doesn't matter what people do to us, our calling as followers of Jesus is to be different. And as followers of Jesus, I think we we just need to do just that, follow Jesus. And so let's look at where our hearts are when it comes to our enemies. Are we cursing those who curse us? Or are we taking the time to bless those and pray for those who curse us? That's our call. Super simple, but very difficult. But with God's help, I think we can do it. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the day. We thank you for your goodness and your grace. And God, we all have enemies. We all have people in our lives that whether they irritate us or they harmed us in some way, but God, help our hearts to be transformed in the way that your heart was and in, in the, the place that your heart was, God. Even though we were your enemies because we sinned and you went to the cross for us to die for us, God, you, you did not curse us, you blessed us. You gave us the highest good, which is a relationship with you. So God, as we live on this earth, I pray that we don't harbor bitterness and anger towards our enemies, but we bless them, we pray for them, and we actually serve them if there's opportunity for it. God, we want to follow in your your footsteps. We love you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, have a great day, New Hope. God bless.